welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be testing out the highest rated Australian card in FIFA 23, Harry Kuehl. Now, this card is a hero card, which means it gives out two chemistry points to every Premier League player. There's a lot of people out there with meta Premier League teams wondering, is Harry Kuehl good enough to make my squad? Well, today, I'm going to walk you through some gameplay and also let you know my thoughts on this card to show you if he's good enough. The first thing I want to bring up is his Accelerate style, which is a new thing for this year and lengthy is what you want to be. However, the second best is Explosive and this is what Harry Kuehl gets. With Explosive, EA say that you get up to top speed really, really quickly, but you slow down a little bit as you run on. In this clip, you can see that he has this quick burst and you'll definitely notice that in some other clips later. Now, I found most of the time he gets run down on long runs. However, there was one occasion in particular where I got the ball absolutely burnt for run with two big touches. This is a big run and we still completely outrun it. This is a great sign, meaning that he can have that top end long distance speed to beat the best center backs in this game. The thing that Harry Kuehl does best in this game is dribbling. And in a game where dribbling really in FIFA 23 is pretty hard to do, he is very good. The best thing you can do is give him the ball in the box, make him do a couple moves left, right, and then turn, open up enough space to get a good shot off. And that is where he excels. That shot, most of the time, just seems to go in. Another thing Kuehl is very good at is what I call playing for the badge. Now, this is a little bit of like a hidden trait. It's not actually a thing that EAs say, but with some heroes and icons, they just seem to do it. And what it is, is they just never seem to be able to lose the ball. There'll be like three tackles and somehow the ball just sticks to his feet and he's still running. Or on defense, he'll just suddenly pop out of nowhere, do this mega sprint forward and just take someone out and get the ball. It kind of seems like a glitch, but he just seems to have this little secret trait, I call. Now, one downside is that there was two games where Harry Kuehl, for some reason, just couldn't score. He was getting in all these spots where he would always get the ball in the back of the net, but the keeper was making the save every single time. Now, I can't really put it all on Harry Kuehl like we could put it on, you know, the DDA, but yeah, I'm really just not sure. There's just two weird games. Now, I will say that in every single other game, this man just seemed to dominate. Some crazy goals, some crazy assists, Fellas, it's time to sit back and relax and watch the Kuehl highlights reel. Crazy. Boy, Kuehl is going to be an assist monster, apparently. Dude is giving chances left, right, and center to everyone. Oh! <laughs> we will score seven. Oh, here we go. Boy, Timmy's through here. Boy, Harry has just sent... I cannot wait! for a whole year of that! Come on! Race our week four, doesn't matter! We just gotta finish this off. We just need some class from the likes of Harry. Worried about qualification yet? In fact, I'm not even worried about losing this game yet. All right, pass was crazy. Literally, I was cooked. The build? No, we ain't what? I'm any better? and make our most of our chances up front. And the build might turn here. I'm lagging. I'm lagging like crazy. What the heck? Boys. 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 Feels so good, boys. We just got to try working around like this. 
Harry Kill. So after seven games, one of those being in rivals and the rest being in foot champs qualifying, he scored 11 goals and had five assists. And we got to remember, this is in a full Aussie squad. Now, he was clearly suited to a cam role. However, you can definitely play him up front. He's also very good up there. Left wing, you can play him there. Sometimes, though, he does get run down on the long runs, but definitely could play him on the left wing, left mid as well. If you're running a full meta squad and you're wondering, is he the best left mid, left wing out there? He's probably not your man. There's some other options you could probably get for a cheaper price. However, if you have any emotional attachment to Harry Kuehl and wondering, oh man, do I get him? Is he going to be good enough? Get the card. I'm telling you, you're going to have so much fun with him. That little extra emotional attachment you have is going to push you to play better with him. And um, he's great. He's great on the game. You're going to enjoy the card. Now, I hope you're having an absolutely cracking day. And if you want to learn how to score every single corner in FIFA 23, click here. I'm telling you, you're going to be banging all of them in.